Oh yeah, here we go, sports time! Euro 2020 is finally happening after a year's delay because of you know what. And so what better time to combine our all-consuming knowledge of video games with the beautiful game itself. Forget real-life superstars like Cristiano Ronaldo, Mario's versatile sporting career has taught us that football is infinitely better with virtual stars and their assortment of rule-breaking powers. High-tech weaponry, impossible acrobatics and overpowered magic can spice up even the dullest nil-nil. But who would make the most perfect first team lineup? Narrowing down the roughly 5.7 gajillion possible game characters to a team of just 11 players is an impossible task, so a few caveats before we hit the team sheet. We're not including actual football games because we'd be doing a video on actual footballers at that point, and that's just ridiculous. We're also excluding Mario and Co because they've had enough sports time, quite frankly, and need to let others have a go. Finally, for anyone not familiar, with this ball-kicking malarkey, especially our North American viewers, we apologise in advance for the number of football-related phrases and Britishisms. If it helps, just occasionally shout man on, great ball, or ref, and you'll be fine. I'm head coach Ben from Triple Jump FC, and here are 11 game characters you need in your fantasy football team. Goalkeeper Dalsim from Street Fighter Arguably the most vital role in any team is the man or woman between the sticks. The pressure is immense, so you'll need someone with a zen-like calmness, unwavering concentration and big old stretchy arms wouldn't go amiss either. Admittedly, these go-go gadget goalie hands are the main reason we've chosen Street Fighter's yoga master Dal Sim for the number one jersey. With lightning quick reflexes and stretch arm strong limbs, his potential for spectacular saves makes him a reliable stalwart at the back. A constant state of meditation and strong self-discipline keeps him laser focused, and just imagine the distribution from goal kicks with the wind-up of that big elastic leg of his. Plus, he can also conjure fire, a nice distraction for those nervy penalty shootouts. He's not the most imposing figure, we could have gone with Snorlax or a massive thwomp if we were in a schoolyard pick the big lad for goalie mood, but Dalsim knows the goalkeeping knack for making himself as big as possible. Centre back, Master Chief from Halo. It would have been tough picking between the Chief, Kratos and Doom Guy, but Kratos is currently serving a nine month suspension for unspeakable violence towards a match official and Doom Guy is still on loan at Hell City Tigers, formerly Hell City AFC. So we turn to Spartan 117, or John as he's known in the dressing room, to keep the team steady at the back. In fairness, he's defended Earth numerous times from Covenant, Flood and Forerunner aggressors, so defending against a fluid front three should be a cakewalk. And good luck trying to find a way past this absolute unit standing at 7 feet tall and weighing 1,000 pounds, including armour. He's no cart horse either. This brick wall is incredibly agile, has an absurd leap on him to help clear any aerial threats, and if push comes to shove, can clear a packed box with a few cheeky swipes of an energy sword or a well-placed Spartan laser. Throw in some great discipline thanks to his military training and you've got the perfect genetically engineered specimen of a defender. Center back. Vesemir from The Witcher. A wise sports person once said, a good attack can win you games, but a good defense will win you trophies. It wasn't Vesemir who uttered those lines, but it could have been, given his knowledge and wisdom gained from decades of Witcher duty. You can't underestimate the importance of having a sensible head in amongst a world-beating squad, and Vesemir's experience is the perfect counterbalance for the more brash characters in our team. His calm, collected approach to hectic situations serves him well on the pitch, spotting a dangerous through ball before it's even happened or close closing down space when needed. Don't let his age fool you either. He's still fit enough for active combat, be it with a sword or a football, and crucially for a defender, he knows how to defend too, handily reminding both Siri and ourselves the correct footing and technique for blocking and countering. Right back, Captain Falcon from F-Zero. There's no doubt Captain Falcon has the right amount of swagger for a professional footballer. He's cocky, loves a fast motor, and when he's not tearing up the track in F-Zero, is frequently starting fights or even hunting bounties on the side. In short, he's peak Balotelli levels of Maverick. 
Thankfully, we reckon Falcon's got the skills to back it up. He's blisteringly quick, even on foot, making him ideal for the challenging modern fullback role, and his time spent on the racetrack has honed his reaction speeds considerably. He's confident with his feet, which combined with his aggression means he'll frequently dive in for his patented Falcon Kick Sliding Challenge, a magnet for red cards, but spectacular when it pays off. His great leap helps with clearing aerial threats in the box, and going forward, that pace and agility can really wrong-foot defenders before he fizzes in a tantalising cross. That versatility even extends to an emergency goalkeeper choice. Any lofty balls will swiftly be dealt with. Ah! Left back, Crash Bandicoot. There's always at least one designated mad lad in any team. With Crash, you're never quite sure whether he'll triple spin a clearance off the line or give away a penalty after setting off a crate of TNT. He's a genuine wildcard, which isn't always ideal for a defensive role, but you can't deny his enthusiasm and commitment to the team. He will run for literally days, keeping the opposition busy down the left flank, and while not the paciest player on the squad, still has a burst of speed and ridiculous agility in his locker. Jumping is literally a full-time job for him too, so you won't get outclassed in the air. And the best part, he already has a ready-made fan chant thanks to the 90s cartoon-style intro song cut from the original game. Crash! Crash Bandicoot! Should have been a genius but he doesn't quite compute! Crash! Crash Bandicoot! Everything can happen now that Crash is in pursuit! We can already picture the dancing goal celebrations. Midfield. Captain Price, Call of Duty. What? You thought John Price's rank was assigned by the military? Ha! <laughs> Think again. It's surely because of this gruff SAS veteran's history in Sunday League matches, captaining pub teams up and down the Oxfordshire area. Why do you think he's always telling us to check your corners, check your corners, check those corners? If you haven't got your set-piece positioning right, you'll be sure to get an earful from Price. The captain is the very definition of midfield enforcer, a natural leader in the mould of your Roy Keynes or Patrick Vieiras. Trained in the British Special Forces, Price has seen action in conflict zones across the world, from the ghost town of Pripyat, Ukraine, Stop consents, oh yeah, to the old USSR gulags. He's a well-travelled, deceptively cultured individual, as is evident by that fetching hat and handlebar moustache combo. Despite his fiery demeanour, he always stays frosty under pressure, leading his team through any adversity. And to top it off, Price also has pinpoint accuracy and a lethal long-range shot in his armoury that could literally take a guy's arm off. Oh, they better get the backup goalie and magic spray ready. Midfield. Chell. Portal. We had plenty of options when picking a partner for Captain Price. Do we choose someone with class and guile like, say, Lara Croft? What about a tireless worker in the engine room seen with Pac-Man's relentless energy? Maybe a cool, intelligent operator to pull the strings from midfield like Solid Snake or Agent 47. But there's one person that might have all of the above. Chell, or Shell if you want to get different pronunciation about this, the master of portals. Her intelligence and problem-solving skills are second to none, and spending hours stuck in rigged test chambers fighting a maniacal robot overlord shows strength of character. Not to mention a ruthless streak having to ditch her BFF companion cube in the name of progress. Oh, and she has an actual portal gun, able to manipulate the laws of physics, which as you'd imagine is pretty useful too. You can't get more pinpoint a pass than literally warping the ball into the feet of an attacker, and Chell's box-to-box -box duties are aided by her uncanny ability to instantly pop up anywhere on the pitch. Here's hoping UEFA regulations allow for portal technology, but there's nothing saying they aren't allowed, so, you know. Right wing. Bayonetta. Here we go, onto the real attacking flair of the side. If we had a pound, every time a pundit used the cliched phrase, the team just need a bit of magic, we'd have enough money to bribe our way into hosting our own dubious World Cup tournament. <coughs> so when given the option of actual magic from the stylish Umbra Witch Bayonetta, it's a no-brainer. Platinum Games' hack and slash hero has an endless repertoire of flashy moves befitting of a Hollywood forward. Hell, she's probably got numerous shampoo sponsors already. And that silky hair is the secret to her silky skills. Those shape-shifting locks have taken ridiculous forms to help slay demons, so impeccable ball control should be simple. Once she's bamboozled defenders and cut inside to a dangerous position, her mastery of firearms and fire feet shows that she's not afraid to <laughs> pull the trigger with a wide variety of lethal shots in her arsenal. <laughs> Sorry. 
All you need to know is Bayonetta's athleticism, aerial ability, and unmatchable style make for the perfect cultured attacker. Left Wing Sonic He was the first name on the Atletico Triple Jump team sheet, and do we really need to explain why? Well, he's got a positive mentality with just the right amount of attitude. He says no to drugs, drink, and smoking. Whoa, little bro. That smoke will make you choke. He also has some nice trainers, and look, it's because he's fast, okay? He's really, really fast. Yes, there's more to modern football than pace, despite what FIFA Ultimate Team would have you think, but when you can literally run rings, pun intended, around the opposition before they even know you're there, you're practically unstoppable. From tracking back to help defensively, to bombing forward for a swift counter, to beating seven players on a magnificent solo run, Sonic's got you covered. Should the worst happen, and injury hits common with nippy wingers like Sonic, we've got sufficient backup with the nimble Lucio from Overwatch, a veteran of Lucio Ball, or the agile Rayman, whose lack of shins makes him almost completely unfoulable. Forward, Lady Dimitres, Resident Evil Village. You can't miss the gigantic, meme-friendly vampire wife. She's everywhere right now, and our team is no exception. Countess Alcina Dimitres, or Dimitresk, or Alcina, or Lady D, or Ka Dimitrescu, or Dimitresu, I pick your poison, has plenty of talents, but one aspect stands head and shoulders above the rest. Her excellent hat, of course. No, obviously we mean her imposing 9 foot 6 stature, towering over other stupid man things, which makes her the ultimate target man or target woman. She can handle any passes with grace and skill, holding up play or deftly flicking the ball on for other runners. But the good lady isn't just your typical lumbering bullseye for hopeful long balls. A bloodthirsty hunger, deadly instinct, and a predator's eye for gold make her an all-round class act. Plus, she can effectively distract defences by stepping on them, leaving the opposition trembling with fear or excitement. And for backup, we've always got the Prince of Persia on the bench with his ability to stop and rewind time if he misses a crucial last-minute chance, so long as VAR doesn't catch him out, of course. Forward, Tidus from Final Fantasy X. The final puzzle piece to our world-beating lineup, and who better to lead the line than Blitzball's hottest prospect, Tidus? In Spira, the world of Final Fantasy X, no sport is bigger than Blitzball, the submerged football-slash-water-polo hybrid. Tidus, a plucky young forward with lethal shooting and incredible agility, first made waves sorry, when playing for the Xanark and Abes, if I've pronounced that right, before driving perennial underdogs the Besed Aurochs to a shock league title in 2001. This achievement is not only down to Tidus' exceptional skills, but also a winning mentality built from a strong family legacy of Blitzball. And given the obvious transferable skills between Blitzball and regular above-water football, Tidus makes a perfect spearhead for our dynamic attacking team. He already incorporates his sporting prowess into turn-based martial arts, so we can't see any issues for him settling in, plus his strength, versatility, and keen eye for goal will guarantee at least 30 goals a season. For tougher opposition, Tidus can always bust out the odd magic trick to bamboozle defenders or, better yet, simply laugh maniacally in their face.